All right, this is sixth grade, unit three, lesson one. And in this lesson, we are going to start digging into uh, unit rates. And we're going to use the uh, a building, it's called the Burj Khalifa, as our excuse or as our context for kind of informally uh, digging into uh, unit rates. And so, you know what, let's just, let's just get started on this. And we begin with our warm up, and our warm up talks about um, <clears throat> estimating the height of the Hyperion. I guess it's a tree, right? And uh, they give us they give us this uh, uh, Statue of Liberty as our reference point. So the idea is, okay, if if since since it's kind of putting the Hyperion up against the uh, Statue of Liberty, our job is to estimate the height, and, and this is kind of like our hint. Well, it's not much of a hint if you don't know anything about uh, the Statue of Liberty. So uh, I had to look it up, so I did. And I looked up how tall is the Statue of Liberty, and it's 305 feet. All right, so if the Statue of Liberty is 305 feet, then we want to know how tall is that Hyperion tree? So, okay, there, that right there is 305 feet. And, oops, undo that part. And if that part is 305 feet, then I want to know what, bam, right there is 305 feet. Then how tall is the entire Hyperion tree? tree and uh, man parents and teachers just allow your students the opportunity to uh, you know just have fun and estimate it's totally okay if they're not totally um, reasonable all right so let's move on our activity is talking about uh, window washing and it says a window washing crew can wash can finish 15 windows in 18 minutes and if this crew was assigned to wash all the windows, how long would the crew uh, be washing at that rate? The one thing you're going to have to know is that the, the Burj Khalifa <clears throat> has 24,348 windows. That's just astounding to me. I don't know. I don't know if it, it's astounding to you, but it's astounding to me. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a table. And there's uh, parents and teachers, what you're going to do is you're going to allow your students some significant amount of time. And I don't know, let's see, how much time are they supposed to have? Uh, I'm, I'm scrolling down on this screen. You don't see it. Uh, about 20 minutes. So um, they're going to work on this. And the idea is to take all of that ratio understanding from the previous unit and apply it here. So windows and then minutes is our table is the table I'm going to create and that unit rate that they are uh, not the not the unit rate the rate they give us is 15 windows in 18 minutes and we want to figure out at that rate how long is it going to take them to wash 24,348 windows gosh that's amazing all right so there's a lot of ways we could do this and uh, since we're getting pushed towards this idea of the unit rate, I'm gonna use the unit rate, but parents and teachers, there's a lot of different ways that students can attack this problem uh, besides the unit rate. We're gonna accept all of them as long as they are kind of using legit math steps. Doesn't matter about efficiency, but because this we're being pushed towards the unit rate idea, that's the one I'll talk about right now. And so the unit rate idea in this case is saying, well, I want to know how long will it take to wash one window? So how do we go from 15 to one? We divide by 15, which means we're going to scale this side down by 15. So we're going to divide that ratio by 15, scale it down by 15. So now I have to get a calculator Here's my calculator right here, and I'm going to type in 18 divided by 15. 18 divided by 15 gives us, oops, where is it? Oh, yeah, here it is, 1.2. And so it takes 1.2 minutes per, <clears throat> per window. 
And then, now that I know one window takes one minute, one window takes 1.2 minutes, now I could just multiply by 24,348, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Multiply by 24,348, and so that 1.2 times 24,348 gives me some big old huge number. It's 29,000, 29,217.6. So I'm just going to change it to 29,218, oh gosh, minutes. <clears throat> That's minutes, 29,218 minutes. And if we want to convert that to hours, because, you know, I'm kind of reasonably interested, 29,218 minutes divided by 60, as in 60 minutes in an hour, gives us, good gosh, about 487, 487 hours. Holy moly. All right. <clears throat> Number three, activity three. It says, in uh, 2011, a professional climber scaled the outside of the Burj Khalifa, making it all the way to 828 meters, with the highest point on which a person can stand, in six hours. So six hours to climb 828 meters. Assuming they climb that same rate the whole way, how far did they climb in the first two hours? And then in question two, how far did they climb in five hours? So basically, we're going to make a table. I'm, now, we could use double number lines. We could use tape diagrams. <clears throat> but I am going to use a table right here. And let's see. We've got hours and we've got meters. I could have swapped those if I wanted to, but, you know, Hours and meters is perfectly fine the way I have it. And uh, let's put in that um, initial ratio that they gave us. Six hours, 828 meters. And we want to figure out how far did they climb in two hours. We want to figure out how far did they climb in five hours. And then I think... Do we have another one? Yeah. How far do they want to, uh, how far did they climb in 15 minutes? So we have these three questions all based on this one ratio right here of six hours is uh, 828 minutes. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do, well, there's a variety of ways, but let's do the first, let's take care of the two hours. So I see a relationship between six hours and two hours. And uh, all I have to do is divide by three, and that's going to give me my two hours. So six divided by three gives me two hours. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. 828 divided by three, and I don't know what that is. So 828 divided by three gives me 600, uh, 276. So there it is, 276 meters is that first one. Now, the next question, it says, how far do they climb in five hours? And I don't see a nice, easy relationship between the, the six or the two and the five. So what I'm going to do, right, boom, right here. I'm going to put the five right there, just because you'll see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how far could he climb in one hour. That's our unit rate. So I could either take the 6 and divide by 6, or I could take the 2 and divide by 2. It doesn't matter. They're both going to give me 1, and that's the key. So in this case, let's just take the 2, divide by 2, and that gives me 1, which means I'm going to take the 276, and divide by 2. And 276 divided by 2, and I didn't really need a calculator on that one, is 138. And now that I know how many meters the person could climb in one hour, now all I have to do is scale it up by 5. So let's do that in orange. 
scale it up by five. So one times five gives me five hours, which means 138 times five, 138 times five is 690. So how far do they climb in five hours? 690 meters. Now this last question down here, it says how far did they climb in the final 15 minutes? So I need to know how does any of these relate to 15 minutes? Well, I'm gonna think of 15 minutes as, uh, let's see, one quarter of an hour. And so since it's one quarter of an hour, all I have to do is take the one and divide by four, and that's gonna give me a quarter of an hour, 15 minutes, which means I could take the 138 and divide by four. So 138 divided by four gives me 34 and a half, 34 and a half meters. So 34 and a half meters. And that wraps up this, you know, uh, the, the working part of this lesson. The summary is the idea is we're looking for the, the word per, the idea of unit rates. And I'll tell you, making a table to create those unit, to find those unit rates is a nice, handy way to go about it. Of course, we could use double number lines. We could use uh, tape diagrams, but I'm going to stick with uh, tables more often than not. Now let's get into some practice. All right. So let's, let's get into some practice here. And so Whoa, bam. All right. An elevator travels 310 feet in 10 seconds at that speed. How far can this elevator travel in 12 seconds? All right. So this is a perfect example of where we might want to use a tape diagram. So we've got seconds and feet. And we have 10 and 310. So 10 seconds. 310 feet and we want to figure out how far is it going to travel in 12 seconds a couple of ways we could do this there's a uh, one way is i'm going to find that unit rate i don't have to there's a variety of ways to do it but i'm going to find that unit rate so 10 divided by 10 gives me one second which means I'm going to divide this by 10. That gives me 31 feet. So one second travels 31 feet. So now all I have to do is scale it back up to 12 seconds. So 1 times 12, 31 times 12, and 31 times 12, I don't know what that is. 31 times 12 is 372. All right, so how far... Can it travel in 12 seconds? 372 feet. All right. Hans earns $33 for babysitting four hours at this rate. How much will he earn if he babysits for seven hours? Explain your reason. So again, we have that, that rate of uh, $33 is four hours. All right. So let's do that. So hours. Oops hours and dollars and i think the rate was four hours is 33 dollars yep four hours is 33 dollars and we want to know seven hours so what is that going to look like all right so i want to know seven hours so i'm going to get my unit rate and I forgot to turn on my light. Hey, there it is. All right. So I'm going to turn on, uh, turn on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this rate four hours, $33 into a unit rate. So how do I do that? I'm going to divide by four, scale down by four. So 33 divided by four, I don't know, 33 divided by four is 825. So eight and a quarter. And then I want to scale it up. And I'm going to scale it up to seven hours. So I have to do that 
8.25 times 7. I could do that in my head, but I'm going to just jump in here and multiply. Oops, where am I now? Okay, there it is. And I got 57.75. All right, so the idea is, folks, is for us to use a table and when we can, you know, convert it to a nice unit rate and then scale it back up to whatever is our goal. The cost of five cans of dog food is 435. So five cans is 435 at that price. How much do 11 cans cost? So five, five cans. Five cans is four dollars and 35 cents. And we want to know how much is 11 cans. Okay, so once again, I'm going to scale it down to a unit rate. I'm going to divide by five. That gives me one can. S divide by five gives me 87 cents, I think. <laughs> I'm right. I did it in my head. 435 divided by five. Yeah, 87 cents. And now all I have to do is multiply and scale it up. Multiply by 11. And that's going to give me the cost for 11 uh, cans, which is $9.57, $9.57. Man, we're chugging away here. All right, the next one, a, uh, a restaurant has 26 tables in its dining room. It takes the wait staff 10 minutes to clear and set four tables. At this rate, how long will it take the wait staff to clear and set all 27, uh, 26? Uh, tables. So 26 tables is 10 minutes. All right, so let's zoom in here. Let's see. Zoom in. Uh, minutes. It doesn't, it doesn't. Well, let's do tables. Tables and minutes. And I think they said 26 tables is 10 minutes. Was that right? Yeah. And we want to know. No, wait. Not 26 tables is 10 minutes. Uh, it's 10 minutes to do four tables, and we want to know 26 tables. So four tables gives us 10 minutes, and we want to know how long is it going to take us to do 26 tables. 26 tables. So again, I'm going to use a unit rate because I don't see a nice handy relationship between the four and the 26. Uh, so I'm going to Scale down, divide by four to give me one table. Divide by four gives me 2.5 minutes. So two and a half minutes to do one table. So now I just scale it up, multiply by 26. That's going to give me 26 tables. And then multiply the, tw uh, let's see, that's going to be 52 plus 13. 52 plus 13. So that's 65 minutes to do all 26 tables. 26 tables in 65 minutes. And then, oh my gosh. And then we, boy, we're, we're just chugging away. This is long. Um, I think you get the idea. I'm just gonna stop here. <laughs> I'm gonna stop here, because you get the idea. All right, the point of this lesson is uh, taking your rate, your ratio, using the um, uh, rate, a uh, unit rate, in order to uh, answer other questions, right? So the idea is, and I use a table. I use a table because that's a nice way to organize your thinking to take that unit rate or that that ratio and turn it into a unit rate so that you can then scale up to answer whatever question you want. Now, folks, don't forget to subscribe.